Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about the new policies. As you already know, every single new season comes out, new policies are getting updated. So finally, season sub 2 uh, is here and we have new policies in the town and we will discuss what kind of changes what kind of new options we have and what kind of choices you are going to make every new season like policies are getting changed they are getting some new skills new policies add some things are getting changed or maybe some questionable changes are going to happen in the policy section we're gonna start out from the beginning whenever you are starting the game starting the season uh, of course it's really really important to upgrade war studies because hero experience bonus uh, at least right now whenever heroes levels are getting resetted it's really important to get 20 percent experience bonus simply because you are simply rushing your hero levels in order to fight as soon as possible of course the spread of the world uh, prestige gain is really important after especially uh, we got some quests conquest quests here and the quests like you need to get uh, 5 million prestige you are getting amazing rewards so getting prestige in this game uh, gives us a lot more rewards than basically just upgrading your uh, policies uh, of course the main uh, skill main policy from the first uh, couple of um, road here is of course military expansion like anything which gonna give you legion capacity in this game is amazing skill so uh, as everyone does i would suggest uh, to rush military expansion because yeah like having more units in your legion it gives you more survivability and more time to deal more and more damage of course like stamina limit bonus is of course mandatory because uh, even if you are fighting or taking some villages it takes some uh, stamina and 40 plus 5 like in general 50 stamina is a good thing to have especially at the start of the game in general policies in my opinion are um, like main thing for hospital right because that's from where we are getting hospital production maybe hospital some limit uh, access or in general like policies are built around hospitals of course medical supplies it's pretty normal like uh, we always had medical supplies and uh, medic recruitment uh, like you can upgrade uh, both of them so there is no such a choice in terms of picking one right after that we have resource healing um, like by by every single season we are progressing uh, resource healing are getting more and more popular like it costs way less uh, for example in season sub 2 to uh, resource heal your troops and of course if you are on a late game if you upgraded every single uh, research or building or like in general constructions you have free resources so why not use uh, resources for healing I wouldn't recommend as a free to play player to ever uh, use resources for healing but yeah maybe you are already uh, into the later stage of the game you already did everything what you can could do with your resources and that's the only time i would agree to use your resources for healing after that we have a first choice um, fire turret ice turret and poison turret uh, in terms of damage it's pretty obvious fire turret has the highest amount of damage in the game ice turret is all about slowing enemies uh, march speed and poison turret is all about like giving ticking damage uh, which might be effective against tier 5 players of course uh, like i i would like to have more damage on the battlefield and i'm always choosing fire turret from the th these three ones after that we already have some choices from here we can get epocracy upgrade all healthcare reform uh, in general epocracy upgrade is giving us the elixir capacity limit uh, up to 20 percent and the healthcare reform is just simply produ producing the as much elixirs in the game as possible during some uh, time stage 
Uh, I always choose Elixir production speed simply because I'm already used to it and I know how it works. Uh, in general, if you are online much of the time and you are playing the game in general, you would want to have more production speed. And you know, like if you are checking the game and you are healing your troops, basically it will be much, much better to have Elixir production speed rather than Elixir capacity limit. That's my honest opinion. If you agree with me, I will be more than happy. Uh, from here, we have a stockpile days and daily resource healing uh, stockpile days like medical administration is just simply increasing your stockpile days at your shaman hunt like a hospital allowing you to store resource healing from previous days simply if you have not used your resource healing limit it will stay and it will go to the next day uh, medical progress uh, increase daily resource healing based on percentage of total legions like i always like to choose anything which gonna give you percentages like in terms of like attack defense and even about healing right that's why whenever I, I will have a choice i will be going for medical progress and uh, another uh, option and another way why i like the medical progress and in general daily resource healing um, between the stockpile days is simply because every new season we are getting more and more buffs to resource healing in this game uh, after that we have augmented defense it's just simply giving us more uh, levels to our turrets uh, administrative excellence uh, allowing us to catch more pets which is really important and in general uh, for me pets and the pet feature is one of the best features we have ever had in call of dragons yet again as i have mentioned the resource healing um, cost is reducting up to 20 percent which is quite a lot and it doesn't really say like wood gold or anything it, it means it's uh, reducting the uh, cost of every single resource which is really important because some uh, troops require more mana some troops require more gold and some troops require more iron and uh, wood after that the same as last season we have infantry drills cavalry drills marksman drills and magic drills right uh, that's basically giving us more attack to our units i like marksman drills more uh, between uh, every single one of them simply because i'm a marksman player and generally i'm playing with long range warfare and while you are choosing long range warfare you are reducing some percentages of your attack damage and you are getting them from here uh, up to 10 percent uh, that's why like in general i think everybody will upgrade every single legion type uh, policy from here up to 20 percent 20 levels uh, which is like it means you don't really have a choice you are just going to upgrade them uh, one by one until it's maxed after that we have one of the most uh, important uh, policies military expansion 2 which is going to increase our legion capacity up to 15 percent and as i have mentioned like uh, in general policies are main source of uh, legion capacity and hospital uh, work in this game uh, of course one of the main choices one of the main destinations for everybody to max out uh, military expansion 2 as soon as possible so you will be having more troops on your legion and you will be more tanky which gonna mean that you are going to deal more damage and it means you are getting more merits administrative excellence two from here it has two levels which means it's gonna give us two warrants so which means we are going to get two more pets every single reset after we're gonna upgrade this pretty great i like everything what is around pet system which is uh, yet again i will mention it my best and my favorite feature in the game after that we have another choice uh, medical supplies too which is going to give us daily elixir production and elixir production speed uh, well from here as i have mentioned i play this game daily i log in many many times per day that's why i always choose uh, production speed because if you are logging into the game many many times a day and you are clicking to heal your troops uh, it has a more benefits because like uh, elixir production speed uh, is much better whenever you are online much more rather than just simply having some uh, uh, elixir production like pure stats 5000 
more um, elixir production like everything was gonna give us percentages is great in my opinion after that we have another choice um, daily resource healing and daily resource healing from both of them um, like from here we have 15,000 from here we have 0.5 percent uh, well as I have mentioned the um, daily resource healing in terms of percentages are getting buffed every single new season so like for this season I'm going to take everything uh, which gonna give us percentage because yeah like uh, it it doesn't really matter as a free to play player i'm rarely using my resources to heal my troops so uh, simply just because i have a choice i will just go with the percentages after that rapid movement um, like um, as a marksman player honestly uh, having one of the slowest march speed units in the game so everything which is gonna give me more march speed will be beneficiary for me uh, especially as a slowest legion type in the game as a marksman main of course it will be suitable for every single legion type in the game and in general like having pure stats additional stats are great thing to have especially from the policies of course another way for you to increase legion march speed is through the research tab and having additional march speed like even five percent is quite a lot uh, from here we have the newest uh, policies um, in the game uh, and let's discuss them right first one is healthcare benevolence i'm not really sure if i read it correctly uh, which is gonna give us 50k uh, elixir production and also prestige gained up to 10 percent Healthcare uh, reprieve. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm not reading it right. Uh, Twenty thousand elixir production. Uh, also resource healing base cost reduction twenty five percent, and also a daily resource healing quantity limit of half million. Right. And the one of the newest one and the last one, diligence uh, shaman hunt like hospital uh, care capacity limit is 1.5 million, which means whenever you're gonna hit this mark, you won't be able to heal your troops. Uh, also, legion march speed uh, to three percent, resource healing 15 percent, daily resource healing quantity limit two million, and stamina limit bonus 15 uh, percent. Honestly, like if I will choose by my Myself, which one i will choose i'm i will be going for the middle one uh i won't gonna go with the first one because prestige gain to 10 percent is actually nothing whenever you are choosing these um, policies you already late game you don't really need more prestige uh, after you played like uh, 30 days per season and like three four five weeks past the beginning of the season you don't really care about getting more prestige at this point and why i'm not choosing the third one because yeah like everything which is having a limit in this game i don't like honestly i i understand legion march speed is great 15 percent is great 2 million uh quantity limit is fine stamina limit bonus is 15 percent i guess whoever wants uh, to choose the third one is tier 5 player uh, we uh, we call them whales uh, if you have like more than 100 million power you are already a whale uh, and i guess that's the only players who might even choose the diligence uh, but honestly from these three uh, my preference would be the reprieve and that's the one i'm going to choose um, like tell me your opinion about this newest um, like policies i guess the third one is quite interesting a lot of buffs a lot of uh, negative amount of limit like 1.5 million is quite a lot but having limit in this game is not good like simply i would like to uh, fight and uh, like do any activity in the game as much as possible and whenever something is limiting me to do that uh, that's the big no-no for me so from here i will be choosing the middle one uh, the last uh, cursed sword we already had this uh, policy last season and i simply did not even uh, level it up uh, uh, simply because whenever you're gonna uh, upgrade the course sword it means that your legion deals five percent more damage that sounds great but 
when fighting other lords 2% of your severely wounded units will die immediately so now you can imagine how painful it will be uh, that you you tried your best to get more and more troops for your future wars and you are investing your time you're investing your resources and you are pretty happy that you have a lot of troops and suddenly you might misclick it might not read it and you are basically losing more and more troops per fight especially if you are tier 4 player and fighting against tier 5 players getting dead troops by simply fighting on the field it really really it it, it doesn't really feel good right uh, i understand some players who want to be risky especially tier 5 players who are confident that uh, they will have more and more troops um, by just adding some more funds to the game that might be the only way in my opinion to use this uh, policy in a good way but honestly for every single free to play player my advice would be to never upgrade the course sword uh, actually that was like a small review about uh, policies in season sob 2 uh, the newest ones are uh, at the end um, healthcare uh, policies and as i have mentioned i would be going for the reprieve and I'm, I'm not going to upgrade this course sword no chance i don't want to see my troops dying uh, fighting some tier 5 players i would prefer to wait uh, for my hospital to heal my troops i don't really care about this five percent uh, more damage when i know that two percent of my severely wounded units are going to die uh, that's the best thing uh, in this game that uh, whenever you are fighting you can simply just wait and wait until you will heal your troops and they are not gone and if you will somehow going to misclick the cursed sword uh, you will feel a lot of pain because i have heard i have seen a lot of players who just simply upgraded this policy didn't really read it and whenever somebody hit their lead or you know, they were fighting in the war on the war during the war and they checked their reports uh, they stopped playing the game so in order for you guys to have fun uh, to complete continue playing this game for more than one month or one year it would be much better to collect your troops not to make them die and have fun with what you have uh, so far that's it about the policies like main ones is of course military expansion one military expansion to everything which is going to give you elixir production speed is amazing and from the last choice from the healthcare policies i will be going for a pre uh, as always tell me your opinion about new policies tell me what do you think about uh, the new changes about these new three uh, policies which you have which we got uh, from this season and in general if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation to make content for this game uh, i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck